Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Rojo and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Lost last time as the Silent had kind of a crappy, uh, a crappy block deck. Just not enough offensive punch. But uh, we're going to try the Ironclad here and let's see. Choose a card, lose all gold, remove two cards. I will choose a card. I will take Wild Strike I am interested in. I think there's a a case to be made for like a wound slash exhaust type of deck. Like if we can get like immolate or something. Which I actually don't know if I've even unlocked on, on my uh, save here yet. But I'm going to take Cleave. It's a safe bet. Works in basically any deck really. So I think let's go. Let's go here. All right, Jawworm, we fought him a million times. He shall be destroyed. Seems like he's like the first guy we fight on a lot of runs, <laughs> oddly enough. So our goal here is keep our HP relatively high, obviously, but uh, then to find, ideally, I would like to find some strength guards, because I think that's how you really make uh, the Ironclad pop off, but I think he's just going to hit me for a lot. Well, actually, not sure. I think I like this better. I don't think we need the bash. Maybe we will, actually. But uh, if we can get three strikes, he's dead. And we got him. Good stuff. All right. Still at full HP. What do we got? Flex, Pummel Strike, Drop Kick. Um, I'm going to take drop kick. See if we can get some more ways to add vulnerable to our deck. I might even hit the shop to look for one of the gray cards, one of the colorless ones. Ah, uh, to see if we can make that work. Well, I can't kill any of these guys, so I think... You get that guy weakened, and then you just defend against the rest of the, the, uh, the attacks coming in here. I'm not going to take two damage, it's not bad, and this guy will die next turn, in all likelihood. Uh, yeah, you are dead. Just block through uh, the rest of this. Should have a cleave coming up pretty shortly here. There it is. And we might even just kill this guy right now. Yep, no sweat. Poison pot, could be useful for later. I like Power Through. I think it's a great uh, defensive card for when you're uh, really on the ropes. Let's see, as you come to a dead end and begin to turn around the wall, slam down from the ceiling, trapping you. So we can remove, transform, or upgrade. It will transform a, uh, a strike. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, good times, good times. All right, do we want to fight the elite? Do we want to go to the shop? It's more question marks. Um, we might be able to get a shop later. So I'm not going to sweat it. I'm not going to. Well, this way we can also do an upgrade too. All right, tell you what. Yeah, we'll go. We'll go after this guy. What do we got? Panache, Mind Blast, Reaper, Uppercut. Uppercut is a really good card. Armaments is really good too, especially once it gets upgraded. Uh, so I think I'm going to take the Armaments. But uh, Uppercut is just a strictly better version of Bash, I think. Upgrade two random cards, lose 16 HP. Let's do it. Demon Form Plus. Hell yeah. Alright, we're gonna Smith. Armaments. It's now Armaments Plus. It's excellent. And then, uh, we'll see what this question mark is. What do we got? Let's see. We can heal for 26, get 5 max HP, or get a Relic and get Regret. I'll take the max HP, because that heals us a little bit as well. And then I do want to fight... N Elite, and I guess it's going to be this guy. So I found out something interesting about this uh, gentleman here. 
It's that uh, you don't want... Oop, no, we just want to play demon form here. Um, you don't want to attack him right away. There's no, there's no need to, and I'll show you why. This is going to give us time for our demon form to really, really buff us up, too. I would have bashed him if uh, we weren't going to break his armor, but... Just end our turn. He's like, WTF might. And we'll just end our turn again. He's very surprised to see us. However, while he's not stunned, he doesn't have metallicize anymore. So we don't have to get through that uh, that eight armor. And uh, now we have plus nine strength, which is pretty good, all things considered. Unfortunately, he's not vulnerable here. So uh, I think we'll do that. I actually don't even think we need to use the, uh, the poison pot. I think he's going to die very quickly here. Another 18 coming our way. Armaments plus. Bash him. And I think we will kill him next turn. We'll love to see that power through a little sooner. But uh, he is dead. <laughs> that went all right. Bronze scales, not exactly the coup that I was hoping for here. Um, Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I want Anger. And I don't mind Pommel Strike. It's okay. However, I think um, Berserk... It's going to be something we're not going to want to use a lot, but... But we, uh, we can probably make it work. More often than not. Which one of these would I want to have in my hand at the start of combat? I mean, I guess, give me Bash. I don't really love it, though, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest here. Well, I mean, sure. That's one way to do it. Maybe we should have gone for, like, Dropkick instead. Because uh, then if we get, like, the Bag of Marbles or something, we have, a, like, a free attack on that uh, on that first turn. But, uh, what are you gonna do? I guess I'll demon form here. I mean, it <laughs> might be a little overkill for this guy, but... That's alright. Alright, Armaments Plus... Makes this free, so I guess we may as well use it. And, uh, we actually... We don't have to take any damage here, so we'll just... Do it like that. We'll probably have this guy dead next turn. Uh, or maybe not. Oh, no, we got him. We got him. Good stuff. Regen potion, very nice to see. Hmm, we don't need another armaments. I do like Iron Wave. And I think I'm gonna go... We probably don't have enough to get anything really particularly good at the shop. So I think I'm going to go after this uh, this other elite here. We've got a poison pot, we got a regen pot. I think we can make it work. All right, nine damage and nine damage. We will. Uh, be made vulnerable by doing this, but what are you going to do? If we're lucky, he'll either be dead next turn or he'll not attack us. Fortunately, we are not lucky. However, I think we can go like that. Or we do one of those. Hit him with one of these. And turn, and we're going to get out of this, uh, you know, with a decent amount of HP. Explosive potion is good. Fire breathing is not. Um, hmm. Rupture could be good. But we don't have any cards that really work with it right now. 
And Body Slam has proven to be good in the past as well. But we don't have a lot of blocks, really, either. I guess I'm going to take Rupture in case we get something like uh, Offering or Brutality or whatever. Let's see, we've got a corridor of hypnotizing colored mushrooms. Hmm. We can anger the mushrooms and fight them. Or we can heal and become cursed with Parasite, which is what I'm going to do. It's not that bad. And uh, if we do remove it, we only lose 3 max HP, so it's not really that much of a, uh, a loss for us. Well, I guess you got to go... Demon Form Plus here, right? As much as it pains me to do so. Ow. <laughs> as much as it really, really pains me to do so. I mean, this does nothing for us right now. You know what? I think I'm okay, I'm okay with this decision. <laughs> I really did not want to take 16 damage on top of that 11 we just took as well. Alright, Iron Wave into a defend, defend, I think is fine here. This guy's going to add wounds? Yeah. We got Thorns damage though, we got strength building up, so I'm not too concerned about what these guys are up to. Uh, I guess we'll Armaments Plus, Defend Plus, Strike Plus, there we go. Yeah, they need, need to do the Defend. Alright, he's not doing too much here. Uh, I think we Bash, Dropkick, and you're dead. Infernal Blade, War Cry, and Anger. That's interesting. This used to cost one, I think. I think that was just updated, maybe. Uh, yeah, I will take Warcry. All right, this guy. I hate this guy. You can bash him. Poison him. Play Berserk just in case. Because it could be the difference between killing him quickly and not. Though Strike could have been good, too. I don't know. It's only hitting me for six right now, though. I was all... <laughs> all, I got, all I got her defends. Hilarious. Well, that was a waste of a, a, a perfectly good bash turn. Ah, boy. It's demon form and turn. Probably have to rest after this, unfortunately. Vulnerability hurts a lot. Ooh, 21 damage, huh? If I defend, I'm gonna take three less damage, but I'm gonna take more in the next turn, so I'm just gonna just gonna let him hit me. As much as I hate to do it. Alright, back to a sensible nine damage. Although this will actually help out a lot. And, um, could, we can safely, uh, I guess that didn't really do, do me all that much good, did it? I think we can safely, uh, not take any damage here, because we'll, we'll kill him next turn as long as we get a strike. There we go. Yeah, that was rough. Although it was very worth it, because that is a great... Relic, and yeah, we're definitely taking Heavy Blade here. And we are definitely gonna rest here. Alright, moment of truth. Hexaghost. My old nemesis. I think you just bash Cleave right off the bat. Might as well drink the potion, no reason to, uh, to save that. We're lucky we get uh, drop kick here, and we did. So I definitely want to uh, let's see. 
What do we get with War Cry here? Nice. Get rid of this, and then we'll hit you with that. And put up as much block as we can. He's gonna take 18 damage just from uh, our thorns, though, which is pretty nice. Alright, uh, yeah, armaments plus into, I think, heavy blade play. Ah, that was a bad play there. I should have. We don't have any strength yet. I should have just done a strike strike. But uh, we've got Demon Form coming up next turn. So I think he's going to be in a lot of trouble pretty soon. Here we go. And, uh, yep, end turn. Take this one on the chin. But uh, long term, I think it'll be good for us. As long as we can survive another one of his big attacks. Because I think we're probably not going to kill him in time otherwise. I guess you might as well do that. This is now free, even though it doesn't do anything for us. And, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's gonna get block and strength. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, uh, well. Bash. Iron Wave gives us some block. And, uh, then also does some damage and gets, uh, gets us into position to use Dropkick, which I think we're gonna draw... Yeah. You can drop kick that. I really want power through when he does his big attack. There we go. We can bash him to keep him vulnerable. Defend plus keeps us pretty safe here. Yeah, I think he's going to get one more big attack off, which makes me very, very upset. Um, Which means... Oh, well, this is going to do 74 damage, actually, so never mind. <laughs> Ah, uh, good times. Worried about nothing. Dark Embrace, Impervious, and Berserk. Yeah, give me Impervious. And inside here we have Runic Pyramid, Velvet Choker. Can't play more than six cards per turn. I kind of do like that. And the Black Blood is pretty good as well. I'm going to take the Velvet Choker. See if I can make that work. Alright, well, when we come back, we will uh, see if we can make it through the city here. I think we've got a decent chance so far. Till next time, though, my name has been Rojo, and thanks for watching.